Hey, what is up all my uh, fellow nerds out there, comic book readers, action figure collectors, Batman fans, and Star Wars fans all around the world. This is the Proud Nerd, and I am back with a brand new action figure video review for all of you. And today, we will be taking a look at the DC Icons Joker figure. I just wanted to get the figures in a really cool pose, like both Harley and Joker um, got the bat got Batman exactly where they want him. I just figured that would look really cool. <laughs> All right, let's get these figures out of here. We already had a look at these two. We already know what they're all about. <laughs> and we'll take a closer look at Joker here. Very, very cool figure. I am very impressed with this figure. I like him a lot. Um, there are some uh, flaws with him, which I will be pointing out. But the positives outweigh the negatives. So I, I will say that about the figure. And if you guys can hear that, it's the traffic. I apologize. I can't do anything about it. All right, so let's take a quick look at the box. Um, uh, DC Icons Joker, right, right on the side of the box. I like that. And I like that in the icons, it has the Joker J. And you get it again at the top there. That's very cool. He is number 14 in the wave, I believe. Uh, the Joker, a death in the family. That's where Joker kills Robin, but Robin comes back as Red Hood. And here are here's the whole wave, and here are the other figures in the wave you can get. You can get um, uh, what's the Green Lantern's name? Um, John Stewart, I think. I don't know. You can get uh, you can get this uh, Green Lantern. I don't know who that is. Don't know who that is. Look, guys, I may be a hardcore DC boy, but even I don't know all the characters in the DC universe. I mostly just know Batman's Batman's universe and a little bit about the Green Lantern world and Superman's world, and that's it. But yeah, these other figures in the wave do look pretty cool. They look really promising. I like that. This looks like it could be a cool wave. Yep, he is, in fact, number 14 in the wave. Alright, that's the box. Let's take a closer look at Joker here. I really like this Joker a lot. He is mega cool. He is... He's got classic Joker all over him. Oh, and also on a side note, this is not my action figure. This is actually AJ's figure. I got it for her as a, you know, just as an I love you gift off of Amazon. She'll be coming over this weekend, and when she's over this weekend, I'll be giving the figure to her. But I asked her if I could review it, and she's like, yeah, go for it. Man, I love my girlfriend. She's the best. Anyway, the figure is very, very, very awesome looking. I love that it has classic Joker written all over it. He's got the purple trench coat. He's got the classic purple pants with the lines sculpted in them, if you guys can see that. He's got his classic Joker shoes. He's got the purple fedora, which I love. He's got his little poisonous flower there. Which looks pretty good. Not perfect, but good. He's got some sculpting going on in the back here. Look at all those sculpted wrinkles, man. Those look awesome. I'm going to bring another Joker in here that also has a purple trench coat. And that is Heath Ledger's Joker. You can definitely see the difference in which one which coat is brighter. It's definitely this one. The Joker in Dark Knight, you know, his purple jacket was really dark looking. You can definitely see it is still purple, but it's just a lot darker. I love this figure. 
uh, I actually picked this figure up right here at a comic book convention that we had at the state fairgrounds. That was a fun day. Got to go with AJ and it was awesome. I really want to go again if we can. Yeah, and just looking at these two jokers here. This joker is definitely a lot taller. But you can definitely see the difference between the two. That's awesome. I like that. And the face... The face is really, really good. I really, really like that face a lot. If I can get my camera to focus... There we go. He's got that big, big classic Joker grin. I mean, not a grin, but a, he's laughing. You can tell he is laughing maniacally. He looks really scary. Look at that expression. Holy crap! This Joker is really scary. Just that, that expression on his face is terrifying. It is legitimately scary. You can definitely make out his eyes. They're somewhat squinted, but you know, he's laughing like a madman. Joker's very famous for his laugh. And you got got those painted green eyebrows. It even looks like they're sculpted a little bit. And I love that they sculpted in the where the the skin kind of folds for the smile. You know how like when you smile your skin will look like that? They got that on the figure. That looks awesome. Look at that big gnarly smile. Got all those yellow teeth in there. Actually, this Joker takes better care of his teeth than Heath Ledger's Joker did. If the camera will focus. Yeah, the camera's not picking it up, but there's definitely red lines painted. Oh, there you go. Red lines painted in between each tooth to make it look more realistic. That is so cool. I really love that a lot. You can even see his tongue in there. That looks really cool. Not on his uh, gloves. They're nice and sculpted. He's got his orange shirt underneath there. Looking very cool. Man, and he's got, he's got a pocket there. You can even make out where buttons go into. He's even got buttons on the side of his jacket. That is awesome. Can't make out what that says. Oh, I forgot to make I forgot to show you guys his accessories cuz this Joker does come with quite a bit of them. He uh in total he comes with Five. five hands um, these are the hands including the ones on him now um, this one holds um, what does it hold oh it holds the the machine gun he comes with I tried getting him to hold the crowbar in this hand but it doesn't stay see it, it does not stay but he can hold the machine gun really well. Got to kind of wedge it in there. And the hand just went flying. That is embarrassing. Hold on, guys. Hold on. I got to get the hand. Ugh. Yeah, it's a very, very tight squeeze, but you can get Joker to hold the gun, but I recommend doing it with this hand here with the much wider open palm. Yeah, that works good. Holds his machine gun pretty good. Well, the machine gun's warped. It looks bent. 
Is it supposed to look? Oh, there we go. We got it straight. The gun itself is nicely detailed. Got all those sculpted lines in there. That looks really good. Brown paint, silver paint. Yeah, that looks really good. They did a really good job with this gun. That's Bella. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. After I'm done with the review, I'm going to have to feed her. She's hungry. But yep, that's the gun. That looks really good. And the crowbar is really nicely done. Nice silver. And it even has weathering in it, so it looks like it's been used and been worn out a few times. Yeah, it's not fresh and brand new. No, this crowbar is old and has been used quite a few times. I like that. That looks really awesome. And his hands, pretty much all sculpted and painted the same. And this is the hand that fell on the floor. I recommend being careful with this particular hand if you're going to try to get him to hold the Tommy gun with it. Oh, it does work. Yeah, it just takes some finagling, but he does hold the Tommy gun with this hand. Nice. I like that. And he does come with a pair of two-fisted hands. And he only comes with one left hand. What is that about? Why only one left hand? Let's take this hand out. And I recommend you being careful when you're switching out the hands. They are kind of fragile. We'll put this hand in. I mean, they won't break right away, but I just recommend you being careful. There we go. Put his gun in his hand. Like I said, it does take some finagling, but he does hold it. That looks really, really cool. I am loving that a lot. But, yeah, he only comes with one left hand. So it's like, couldn't they have at least sculpted this hand with a hole in it so you can put this in there? I mean, I guess from the side it looks okay, but from the front and from this side it looks weird what the heck do you see are are you guys like what the heck why only give us one left hand and a, a left hand that's a closed fist that makes no sense to me nah but griping aside this is a pretty cool joker figure and now we will go over our articulation starting with the head his head uh, looks to be on a ball joint. Sorry guys, trying to... There we go. His head does appear to be on a ball joint, and he's got nice range of pivot in there. I like that neck pivot. His head can look up only about that far. It's not really looking up, it's looking straight forward. can look down pretty far. His arms do go out all the way. That looks pretty good. And he's got one of my personal favorites, double-jointed elbows. Look at those double-jointed elbows. I love that. So it's like he can be laying on the ground, kind of like doing a Deadpool pose. Hold on, guys. I really want to do this. This will look cool. Be laying on the ground like this. <laughs> that looks cool. I really like that. I love the double jointed elbows. Of course, his feet don't stay on their own, but still, that looks cool. I like that. And um, his uh, wrists swivel. They go up, down. They can go up. So that's pretty good. His uh, waist, he has... Uh, He has a nice waist bend. I like that. That's nice. His legs can go out about that far. Double jointed knees. Yes, I'm loving that. 
and he has that beautiful ankle pivot and his feet can go up and down uh, no side movement whatsoever and um, I will say when you're posing this figure around please be careful with him because this happened to me twice the legs come off very very easily you can get them back on so the figure is not broken it's just the legs come off very easily so be careful with that but all in all a really solid joker figure and I'm I'm very happy that that I got him for AJ AJ is gonna love this figure she has Harley Quinn but she doesn't have Joker yet so I figure I would get her Joker just and it's not for a special occasion it's just cuz I wanted to get Joker for her cuz I love her it's not her birthday it's not a Christmas present it's just because I love her and I know she really likes Joker he's one of her all-time favorite villains and how can he not be it's Joker <laughs> and I always recommend this hand in particular for holding the crowbar it's the only hand that holds the crowbar all right we'll do some size comparisons again bringing in Heath Ledger's Joker you can see that the DC Icons Joker is clearly taller than Heath and bringing in my DC Icons New 52 Joker jeez this Joker towers over this Joker. That's cool. I like that. And bring in my least favorite Joker figure I own. This crappy kid's toy version. That looks nothing like Heath Ledger. And you can clearly see DC Icons is towering over this one. For another size comparison we will bring in the lovely sexy deadly Harley Quinn oh Harley's taller than this Joker that's interesting Harley's never been taller than Joker before Wow <laughs> and bring in in his most powerful nemesis the Dark Knight and yeah, it's no surprise, but Batman's way taller than this Joker. And last but not least, just for one more Joker size comparison, this little teeny tiny Mattel DC Comics Multiverse Joker. And yeah, uh, for, and this Joker's from Batman Arkham Origins, in case anyone's wondering. No surprise, this Joker's a lot taller. So... Yeah, um, if you are a Batman fan and you love the Joker like AJ and I do, then you will really like this figure. Um, the articulation's really good, the detailing and the sculpting and the paints are really good, his accessories are good, except for that one closed fist left hand he comes with. I absolutely hate that. Oh, I didn't even notice that extra sculpting in there. That extra little bit of detail. Is that on all of his gloves? Yeah, it is. That little line right there. Cool. So yeah, if you like Joker and Batman and all that good stuff, you will love this figure. The, the articulation is really good for what it is. I love it. His accessories are really awesome. And he will look really good in your DC collection. Um, I'm going to give Joker here um, 9.5. Why 9.5? It's that darn one close-fisted hand. But he stands on his own really good. That's a bonus. And his detailing and sculpting and articulation, really good. So that's why he gets a 9.5 from me. Alright guys, uh, that was my review. I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you want to talk if you want to chat with me on Facebook or Twitter, links will be in the description down below. Alright guys, this is the Proud Nerd saying to all my fellow collectors, comic book readers, and action figure collectors out there to stay 
Nerdy. Peace.